Brainiac. If there's one thing Brainiac viewers can't get enough of, it is thermite, the scorching substance that's hotter than a vicar at choir practice. Every week, the Brainiac office is inundated with hundreds of letters and emails, like this one from 33-year-old Dan Inslee of Stroud. Dear Brainiac, if thermite is so hot, then why not pour it on something extremely cold and see if the effects cancel out? I'd suggest liquid nitrogen. I like your thinking. 1,000 degrees Celsius, which is very, very hot. This is liquid nitrogen. It's specially stored at minus 198 degrees Celsius. That's 163 degrees colder than the North Pole in winter. But is it cold enough to neutralize the intense heat of thermite? Packed into the slow release mechanism of a garden flower pot, the thermite is ready for action. Just light the touch paper and stand well back. The fuse triggers the irreversible thermite at a half thousand degrees. It releases a raging torrent of molten iron, which rains down upon the liquid nitrogen, boiling the glacial mixture away in a plume of vapour and melting the cylinder, leaving just a puddle of white hot iron. A clear victory for thermite. So there you go, Dan. Adding something cold to thermite doesn't cancel it out. It just makes it angry. Thermite. You won't like it when it's angry. Good autopsy.